Yo, what up guys? So in today's video, what I want to do is show you a cool operating system which I have never used and I have no, I have like, I only found out a couple weeks ago but I've never thought about it and I was like, hmm, let's try this operating system because it looks absolutely mad. So, it's called Black Arc. Now, you might have heard of it, I'm pretty sure that this is what professionals use in actual hackers, like, you know, black cat hackers, like Russian hackers and stuff. Um, that's what they use because this is a very, very powerful system. Now, the difference between this and Kali, Kali has about 600 installed tools by default, if I'm not wrong, or less. Um, and this one has about nearly three times the size of that, it, well, more actually, it has about 2,800 tools. Which, if you think about it, 600 tools on Kali is a lot, right? Yeah, so if you think about it, 600 tools is, is a big number, right? Because most of the stuff you never use, you only, only use about a couple, like maybe 10 at, at, you know, at once, sort of. And then we have this one, which I've never heard of. It's called Black Arc. It has 2,800 altogether when you install it. So that is a big, big fucking difference, right? So um, I will give you a link to the description. It takes a bit of time to download. It matters about your connection, but the servers, servers are very, very slow. Um, it took me about, I think, like maybe half an hour, an hour to download. It's about 20, 30 gigs. I will give you a specific link. Now, there's two things you can download. You can download an ISO, which is a disk image to install, which means you have to install it manually. Or you can download an OVA, which is an actual virtual machine you can just um, get up on your computer. And you can run it within half an hour, because it takes about half an hour to like sort of import for you to be able to run it, so it's up to you. You can do that, you can do that. I'm just suggesting you run OVA because it's quicker. And you don't have to, you know, you don't have to do, if in case you're not technical enough, you may have no idea how to install it, just run OVA because it doesn't, you, need, you don't need any technical knowledge to install it. Now, so the first thing when you install it, you might get a wee window. I'll try actually, I'll show you right now how it looks like so you know what to do, just in case you get scared or you might not know what to do. Right, so as you can see, this is the window you get. Just press enter or leave it for five seconds. It will sort of run itself as a Kali. So as you can see, we are in, um, it launches pretty quickly, right? So what I suggest to do, this is important. As you can see, there's three things right here. I have open box, change it to default. Make sure this is default. I'll make sure the language is US or English, whatever your language is. I suggest in US because that makes it easier in terms of layout. This is the layout, by the way, keyboard layout, right? It's not a language. It's the layout of the keyboard. Every country has its own layout. Um, for example, the British one and the American one is big, big difference because uh, if you press shift two, it has different settings. I'm pretty sure the American has at, it prints and out, at, sorry. And then if you press like shift two, it gives you a quotation mark, which is, I don't like that, right? So, how to log in? We basically need to know the logins. The logins is basically root, a Kali, and the password is black arc. I'll put it on the screen so you know how to run it. And as you can see, we are in. It basically now, the first thing when I launched this, I was like, where's the toolbox and stuff? Uh, you actually don't get a toolbox. This is very, very simplistic operating system. What you get is basically a right click, and that's all you have. You have nothing else on your keyboard. So as you can see, there's some stuff. Um, first of all, what I like to do is show you how to change your resolution. Why? Because I hate, as you can see on your screen, right? I have the same thing. I have black box, like black screen right here. I'd like to do is change this because I like to have my screen like I'm actually not not running a virtual machine. It's like I am running it on my computer, right? So basically, first thing you should do is right click terminals and just run any color you want. This is just the color, so let's run red. Oh, maybe it's not red, is it? Oh, it's red, okay, sorry. So this first thing we need to do is run xrender and just write this command. And as you can see, can I make this bigger? Yes, okay. Can I make this even bigger? Of course not, okay. Uh, so basically, if you pre if you, what you need to do now is, is xrender minus s or hyphen s and then just the resolution of your screen. Now I'm gonna run 1920 by times 40 because I think that's a bit, no, that was a wrong idea. Let's try and run, well, I need to, I need to, I'm gonna have to use my knowledge of my, remember of my keyboard. Uh, nope, okay, that's good. That's absolutely awesome. 
There we go. Uh, that's still not good. Let's change it to 1920 times 80. Now, uh, I just did a wee pause. I found the resolution. The resolution for me is 1920 by 1200. Um, and I changed the screen resolution a bit so you can guys see more. Now basically, um, it's 60 hertz, which doesn't really matter because we are what we're doing is we're not going playing games, we're actually doing stuff. So we can close this just by closing here on the right corner, it's like Kali sort of, and we're back to the system. Um, now, as you, I will take you through the menu and try to show you something. I don't know because if you go to basically network or like Black Arc, and I don't know what this stuff is, more stuff out, right? So don't ask me, please. <laughs> I have no idea. I would have to look for it myself. As you can see, I just go into DOS and there's about, I don't know, 80 tools just came up on my screen. I have no idea what these are. I've never seen them before. And um, maybe if you have more experience than me, you'll most likely maybe recognize some of them. Probably not all, because there's no chance, you know, 3,000 tools uh, on the sure, I don't know. You don't sleep and you just run Kali and Black Arc all day. So basically, um, I'll just take you through the menu slowly, right? So the first thing, this is terminals. Obviously the colors doesn't matter, it's just, just the colors, which one you prefer. Browsers, um, just normal browsers, Chromium for example. It should be Chrome if I'm not wrong. Yep, it's Chrome. So this is just, um, let's see if it's actually, I can actually show you this. Um, actually, give me a second, right? I'm gonna check something. Okay, um, so I just checked it doesn't actually hide your IP address. I thought it does for some reason, because the browser looked a bit off. So I was like, maybe it changes your IP address. It doesn't. So make sure that if you're gonna run this, don't do anything illegal, because you're gonna get arrested unless you, that's your plan, then go ahead. Um, I don't suggest it though, because I don't want to have a criminal record. I don't think you don't want to have a criminal record as well. So, plus if you get arrested, I'm pretty sure if you get caught hacking, you'll get like a computer ban, which means you are not allowed to have computers around you for whatever time it is. Um, so basically browsers, right? Browsers, normal browsers. Network, um, I don't know what this does, but I guess that you can choose your network because that makes the most sense and would make anything else, any other sense. Now this is black and I'm pretty sure these are the tools. Now as you can see, there's a lot of tools. Let's sample to go to Windows, right? Because that, so Bloodhound, I recognize Bloodhound. Um, what was, what was, what was, what was? Now this is by the way, Blackhack is a Linux operating system by the way, I forgot to say. Um, and I generally don't recognize any other ones. I don't know any other ones. <laughs> I'm not joking, I don't, I only know Bloodhound. I don't have an idea any, any, about any other ones. Um, okay, so maybe let's just leave this, let's go to Let's go to exploitation. There we go. Okay, so we have MSF, MSF Metasploit console, Metasploit framework. I know that obviously because I've showed you before. Um, there's beef. I know beef. Um, what was Dino? What was Dino? CVE, I think. Oh, CVE is basically the exploits that um, it's basically a database of exploits that you can use, and actually that is actually quite helpful. Can we search something? MS-17, can we search it like that? Maybe not. Let's see, maybe we can search something. Where did I go? Exploitation. It's, by the way, it's very, very easy to get lost in this MS-17-010. If I'm putting the command right, the exploit. Oop. Okay, I don't know how to run, run this right, so I'm gonna have to figure out. Maybe I'll make another video how to actually properly use it. This is video is just to show you guys then spread more awareness about this operating system. And it's a pretty pretty, pretty cool operating system, right? So it's fun to have around. Fun. I like I love exploring. Oh, okay, there was sort of networking there. Let's see if we can find Nmap. Nmap. Uh, N C P M A P. I think that's Wireshark if I'm not wrong. It should be. MSF as well. Well oh, this is the wrong this is not networking. I think I went to something else. Let's go to, no, there we go. We're in networking now, okay. So there's a lot of stuff. Um, DNS, host, Cisco. Uh, sniffing, I saw sniffing somewhere, sniff. Sniffing, I recognize that from Cali. Um, ping, R ping, okay, so these are Windows tools. 
ARP and ping and R ping. Oh, these are the same thing. Um, anything else? MSF Venom, that's networking. I would say it's more exploitation, but I guess it's both. Um, so there's a lot of tools. Like I'm not gonna go through all of this because there's no point me going through all of these tools because I could be here all day. Um, I should. I think I would say check it out for yourself because it's a very very interesting operating system. Um, I'm not gonna do anything since I don't really know how to use this properly. I don't want to embarrass myself. But basically, I showed you how to change your resolution, um, and so because it annoys me to have the resolution. If you want to check, um, I guess what you could do is go terminal and help, and deal with some basic commands. You can see echo, and there's really nothing else you can do. Now, if you get lost, it actually tells you where you are. As you can see on top of the screen here, it says exploitation. So if you get lost, then you know you can't really go back. Um, because you have to close everything again. Honest, I don't know how to. Maybe, maybe. What if I press escape? Backdoor. Let's go to backdoor. No. Okay. So there's not really a way to go back. So you need to be very, very careful. Where you click on, or you're going to be here forever. Um. Now this could be good for finding new tools and just installing them on your Kali. But you would use a browser for that. So. Right, right. So that's it. I don't really have much more to say about this operating system. It's a very. It looks cool. It looks interesting. It looks professional. I guess that's what the actual professionals use, because it has two thousand eight hundred tools. And um, it looks very complicated, but I don't think it is. Maybe it's just because I've never used it before. So I just wanted to show you guys this operating system. It looks. <laughs> it looks very very. It looks like an actual hacker. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you can, you know, if, if you install this, let me know what you guys think about this operating system. Uh, if you're a beginner, I suggest you go back to Cali. If you want to check my Twitter, I usually post some I talk about. I You can interact with me if you want. And I post pretty some useful information on that as well. And yep, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you can give a like, subscribe, comment, and obviously follow me on my Twitter. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.